Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Terry. And I'm Eric. And we are Escaping, Escaping the, the Empty Nest. Nest. Hey there, welcome back. We went to Hallstatt in Austria on our vacation, and there are a lot of videos out there that cover tips for Hallstatt. We wanted to share some tips with you on things we learned about Hallstatt that we didn't get from other videos. Should you take the train there or the bus? There's an amazing video on Big Boy Travel that covers the options of getting to Hallstatt that we'll link to in the description below. The only thing we'd add to this incredible helpful video is the fact that you should factor in the cost of the boat ride when you arrive by train. The train arrives on the opposite side of the lake, so you'll need to factor in that cost for the boat. If you're interested in getting out on the lake, we have some advice for that later that we'll be covering. Also know that if you plan on driving, make sure you get there early because the parking spaces fill up quickly outside of Hallstatt. Now, Hallstatt's one of those cities that you always hear mentioned when you talk about tourist overcrowding. We didn't experience that, but we got there pretty early in the day. So, I know as the day goes on, more and more tourist buses arrive. So, our advice is if you just want to see the city without massive crowds, really get there about as early as you can. So, there are some options of things you can do there besides seeing the view, and one of them is the salt mines. Now we didn't do the salt mine, but you would take the funicular up to go to the salt mine or to the viewing platform up there, but was it really worth it to see the view? Um, the funicular has a long staircase at the top of it, but if you can't do stairs, just keep in mind there's also an elevator that will get you up there. Now, as you know, we are suckers, suckers for, for a, a good, good view. view. But here's the interesting thing. As amazing as this view is from the observation deck of a Hallstatt, Somehow, Hallstatt looks even better from the ground. So our friend Eric knew exactly how to get to the place where the view is that you see on all the pictures on Instagram and everywhere. On your way to the view, you're going to pass by an incredibly scenic center of town. There's even a waterfall right past the town center and it's absolutely amazing. It's, it's definitely one of those places you, you can't possibly walk through without wanting to take a bunch of pictures. So after we got all of our selfies and pictures done, we decided we wanted to get out on the lake. So there's a couple places in town that you can rent electric boats. This is totally worth it. We chose the 30 minute rental for 22 euros, but if we had wanted a full hour, it would have only been five euros more, so 27 total. It was lovely, it was quiet. The boat isn't even capable of going very fast, so it's just like a leisurely stroll on a lake. The lake was so peaceful and calm and so smooth that we could see the reflection of the city like a mirror. We were warned that the city would be overcrowded, but that wasn't our experience. If it was though, getting out on the lake would have been a great escape from that. We were very blessed on this trip to have our friend Eric come along with us. He was our chauffeur, he was our boat driver, and he knew so much amazing stuff about the area. It was really nice to have him along for the trip with us. We love you, Eric. So in less than three hours, we had done everything we wanted to see, so we headed out. There are even a lot of things to do in that area we passed on, including the salt mines and the Five Finger Lookout in Dachstein. So Hallstatt is world famous for being one of the most incredibly beautiful places on Earth. We're certainly blessed that we got to spend at least three hours there seeing what we wanted to see. If you're interested in a Hallstatt vacation, you're going to want to check out the big boy travel video that we linked to in the description. It's incredibly helpful. We hope this video has given you some ideas of other things to think about while you're there. And we appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching and bye for now. now.